for today. If you wanted to stay in and, and find some, some of the, for the kiddos, find some way to entertain them, you may want to do that because it's chilly and it's wet as well. We've got some scattered showers showing up on radar. Heavy cloud cover, some scattered showers, especially off to the east where that cold front lies. You can see some of that through Hunt County and then down around Hamilton. But overall, not a widespread rain event, so that's some good news for the morning drive. Moderate rainfall pushing northeast through Greenville at this time, lighter rain through Kaufman County, and then light to moderate rainfall moving through Hamilton and lifting through Somerville County. So through the rest of the day today, the trend will be for our rain to actually taper off. And as we get into the afternoon, I still think we're talking about more of a gray sky than not. There could be some late afternoon breaks in the clouds, but overall, pretty cloudy setup although we will see some drier conditions as well. Most of Friday looks dry. We'll start off with an overcast sky. Could see a stray shower or two north and northwest. I think, though, generally, we're, we're seeing a dry forecast and even adding some sunshine by very late in the day and clearing out overnight. Now, of course, temperatures are the other big story. We see the rainfall as that front passes through, but this will be the thing you notice know, stepping out. 50s showing up, 54 for Fort Worth, 57 in Dallas. The only reason we have a couple of 70s is because that cold front, it is the slowest cold front. It is still trying to work its way past Mineola and Tyler. So that's the reason for the, the difference there. But for most of us, this equates to about a 20 degree difference from yesterday morning. By the way, we do have a new record morning low for today. We With our 55 degrees that we, ha we hit at about uh, 3.30 a.m. this morning, so it breaks the old record of 56. This is the fourth earliest that we've hit that number of 55. It's the coolest air we've had in four months since about May 10th of this year. And on average, we would hit about 55 by September 27th. So we're weeks ahead of schedule on this cool air, and we're going to keep it going through the day today with heavy cloud cover and temperatures in the low 70s. Overnight tonight, you still may want that jacket for tomorrow morning as we wake up to low to mid 60s. And overall, pretty nice trend as we head into the weekend, temperatures in the 80s. It is September, of course, we get to talk about that cooler air, but we also are excited.